Okay, we got a new song? Now we finishing our sip so we can get started on that video. Okay. Get this shit up out the way. I want to get that video by here. Uh. Alright, um... You mind putting in the information for the Instagram here? Where? There. I'll queue up your uh, song. Okay. Here you go, guys. I just need to. Uh... I'm back. Are you on YouTube as well? Yeah, I'm on YouTube. I'm on everything, bro. Good way people can uh, catch your music. Instagram is where they can follow you, but YouTube is where they can hear your shit. I want you to put uh, something else up there. Uh, what was the name of the song again? I said. There you go, brother. And then you got a picture of me on the dance. Probably should have saved it for us. Ray Bams? Yeah. Raymond Bams. Yes. Fella Femmes too on the way, baby. Mister. I fell down, I fell down, I fell down. So I sit, so I sit. Hey, hey, I run the town up. Hey, hey, so I sit, so I sit, so I sit. Hey, you get your crown.
You said no auto tune? I said auto tune. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because we already had auto tune on there, so we're all set for that. Okay. Um, ready for a take? Okay, you are live. one yeah uh, I can cut it up more but um actually it's up all the way uh, say something real quick something, something, something. like sing something Where you been? I've been smoking live. Sumner all right halfway through the hook you're live The high note one, I'm not sure if that's the note you wanted, but let's listen to it real quick just to make sure you fuck with it. That's the part I'm talking about, just that part. The other parts are cool, like, uh, it's cool, but that part, I'm not sure because you did it both at the, in the middle and at the end, and I'm just not sure. Going hard for my true love. That's that money green I keep around. Because it's like a continuation of what you did on the first verse, but you switched the note, and I get that. But the note worked a little bit better the first time. Right. So I don't know if you want to keep the, you know, or. I just want to sit right I feel you, right. That's why I want, you know, <laughs> I, I get that, but. Uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's try it again. Two bars back.
Let's do a hype track first. Back up those last parts of all your uh, bars. You want water? You want water? Or you can listen in there if you want. And grab your water. So you might want to leave that door open. It's going to get hot probably. Same time? 
Ain't that a hook there? Oh. Yeah, it's an I said that we sit. Cause uh, I feel like one is overlapping. Down, I feel down, I feel down. I feel down. So I sit, so I sit. Hey, so hey, I, I run a town, a town. Hey, hey. So I sit, so I sit, so I ay, sit, so I ay, sit. You get your ground, right? Get your ground, right? Ay, ground. Right? So I sip, so I sip, so I sip, so I hey, sip. That's three meal, right? Meal, right? Hey, so I sip, so I hey, so I sip, so I sip, so I sip, so I sip, so I sip. So I think those last three on the on the ad lib with the echo on it should be shook. So we sip, so I sip, so I sip, so I sip. Man, okay. Well, the whole thing is on the ad lib track all together. You never said we. Okay. You only said we on the main track once. If you had it any other time, I could damn be it. But I'd be doubling the main one, and that's just gonna sound plural and weird. So if you can, uh, hey, I, so I, I sip, or I can change that we sip to another I sip, and then yeah, let's do that. You sure? Yeah. So I like the end how it's weak because it's different at the end, but I mean, I'll change yeah, do, it. No, do the week. You can do the week. I just fill it in. All right, because like I said, I like that it's progression. You know what I'm saying? It's like the end is, so we sip. Yeah. Hey, so we right. sip, so we sip. Oh, you do say it twice. Hold on now. So we sip, so we sip, so we sip. I might be able to do something here. Okay. Just uh, one second. I'm just gonna see if this works. Hey, so we sip, so we sip, so we sip, so we Fang. sip, Mister. Man, remember we did this? I dropped a sneak peek to this. To this, I sit. Where'd you sneak peek? I sneak peek. I released it on YouTube. Oh, so that was that one video. Yeah, okay, yeah. Tell me why some dudes from Jamaica went crazy. They did a video <laughs> to that shit. Jamaica rapping on that bitch. They did a, a... They kept my hook on the beat, and they rapped on the beat. What's up, everybody? Jelly Jungle! That's crazy, dude. Did you like, uh, what you I was said? Like, I was like, hey, shit! Cause it was a, oh, because of the opening? Yeah, because they kept it was the instrument. I, I put the instrument with the hook and released it. Oh, okay. So when I dropped the sneak peek, some dudes from Jamaica, they was speaking in their na language on that boy. It wasn't even English. They was just going. <laughs> I showed you the video. I was surprised. Hey, so we sit. As long as they. I was like, oh, like international, man. We gotta go international, man. Go they showed you love. I think they said who like when they put they, the they put the credits and everything. Put my okay, name on yeah, everything. Said, that's all. Yeah, that's hey, all right. So right. we that's smart as hell. Cause they had to. Cause I didn't release the form. I didn't release just the beat. I didn't release the extra bit with the hook. Yeah, but I mean yeah, they could still they, they could have still just took it. And, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, they, you know it's a yeah, super they, they, engineer they, that bitch. Yeah, I feel you. No, I mean they left your hook. Like, niggas come to me with beats all the time with the hook already on there, but they don't say feature in the person who did the hook. They just yeah. say it's their song, and they don't say who did the hook. Yeah. So these niggas show love, and now it's extra promotion for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I were you, I would do that as a goddamn contest, just to get more niggas behind this shit. Like, take a song, make a hook, and it's probably gonna be like, the winner gets... A free iTunes card. Right, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so like, a hundred niggas! All take your song, make a song to it, and then post it on their pages. And all hundred of them niggas, all their families now know who you are. Yep. And all they cost you was a twenty-five dollar gift card. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a hell of a promo, bro. That is a hell of a promo. Twenty-five dollars and a hundred niggas all push your shit. Hey, so, so we I sip, am. so we sip, so we sip, so fine. We sip. Oh, anime said, "What's up to you?" Who is that? Uh, one of the viewers, she's been watching uh, for a while, and she's from... Tell her I said, Xbox Live, <laughs> Call of Duty, Mr. Favorite J. Razzle, we are live. PS4. Yeah, it's PS4. <laughs> I really got PS4. I don't do PS4. I'm Team Xbox. <laughs> but I fuck with Xbox. Please, that's your photo. They look at the stages, man. Y'all remember this solid. The one, you know, shit like that. All right. I just... Damn Peter Hook, your shit's uh, on point now. 
Uh, before we move on to the next song, should we listen to this all the way through, or should we just go to the next song? Uh, you can, you can start through that bitch too. Uh, Feeling Famous too on the way, baby. Mr. Mr. We did a new era. Mr. I said, we did the Michigan Stars. Mr. Girl, I did 200. Hey. Uh, I feel down, I feel down, I feel down, so I sit, so I sit, ay, ay, I run a town, a town, ay, ay, so I sit, so I sit, so I sit, so I sit. music so if you're ownership is something you got the right to drink and smoke whatever the fuck you want to do because you own some shit if you don't own no shit do not say my music man it's not for you man. <laughs> can't be out here not owning shit out here trying to live a life of what you're hearing you can't afford it like you on some bullshit 30 some 35 years old behind you know you don't want to do that man so it's all ownership ap the owner you already know what you do and you all that Oh, oh Lord, 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 Bro, I've been at the gym last week five days. I went to the gym 6 a.m. What gym you go to? LA Fitness? Nah, I can't. Uh, I, I guess I can I can afford it, but I... Oh, you need that bank account? They just want to check an account with $50 in it, bro. And $50 every month. Yeah, that ain't shit. But look, check this out. Go out there, Royal Low, the LA Fitness Signature Gym. That bitch is dead. Ouch. But you have to have a special card to be able to go to that one. You can't just go there with the regular card. Yeah, it's probably like good. Yeah, they're going to wax you like It's like good. 70 or 100 or yeah, something. Yeah, it's 100. It's 100 a month. See, I but can... you got, they got the swim in, the jacuzzi, the court, and you go there 24-7. You in that bitch 24-7. Nigga, that's 1,200 a year, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That's I got to bring the facts out, man. Don't bring the facts out. That's 1,200, my man. Don't bring the facts out. We know it's going to cost us bread. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whip. Oh, yeah. That's a whip. You driving all yeah. year for that. You know what yeah, I'm saying? No, I fuck with it. If you got it, you know, use it because the racket ball sounds dope. Fucking jacuzzi is song. Yeah. That sounds dope as fuck. I just, it would have to be like, you know, maybe once every three months I would go. You know what I'm saying? And so I wouldn't use it. I would just go to like a special hotel or something that had all that shit. And yeah. I would just go once every three months, once every four months. Because, I mean, I'm, I'm, just not getting into planet again like i'm just like a, yeah like I, i've had it for a year and i had spouts and i guess i'm in another spot man because i went five days last week monday i went yesterday or today i went at 6 a.m like i might go back tonight man like i don't know i'm feeling it right now man all right i gotta get that boy. i like that water especially on water exercise they be having you in the water and a little bit full or whatever you have to do that shit in the water so you're feeling good I mean, bro, it's probably been like two, three. Bro, it's probably been like five years since I've been in the pool. You fuck with the golf? I never played golf, but low key, I do need to get into a pool. Like, I, I need to get, it's been like five years since I've been in a pool, bro. A good ass pool. I, wow, I can't believe that. I haven't touched water. <laughs> <laughs> Showers don't count, and I definitely don't take baths. I don't know why I don't think about it. Something freaky, something crazy about that. I'm like, I don't know. I went to Motor City Casino. Yeah. Hit the good baths. And I still felt weird in that bitch, man. Yeah, Motor City Casino, that's that city over there. That's what? That's that city over there. All right. No, it's not the water. It's not the water. It's just a weird. Like, I got a Detroit bathroom, so, like, my shit ain't like, oh, like Freddy Krueger, but it ain't the but best. You can always hold a deep bitch. 
I don't know how much it would cost. And Let's get you a dog ass signature. That's what they do nowadays. Just get signature jacuzzi uh, baths. You walk in this bag with your spank. Like, damn, nigga. Like, yeah, that's how I got it for how much? Shit, they got something for like a band. Then you know they hit you. Then you know they hit you with the installment fee. You want it done right, you know. So how much would it cost all together? For for a good a good jacuzzi for you know, a good for like a thousand for like the bed for the bath and the summer probably like good for four to five hundred. Shit, man, that that's... ain't bad. Fifteen hundred get you together. I mean, eighty nights you good. Think about it. That's a signature club membership, though, man. That's it. You can't hold your membership in your bathroom, like. Fuck that. <laughs> yeah, man. You killed the game. They gonna send the pros out on Depot. They gonna come out here. Wait, so if you buy the jacuzzi, you have to install it yourself? If you want to save money, you can. They got a booklet and stuff that come. Oh, with. fuck a booklet! What? Come yeah. on, man. That's, That's how they get you. You want it done right? They are gonna be like, we gonna have this bitch done right, but you gotta pay for that, man. They gonna come. They gonna send up in there. Oh my god. I mean, that's a little different than a toilet. I mean, at least a toilet, you can, you know, this is a, you know, a goddamn bathtub. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Most of them, I do that shit quick as hell, get my bathroom done, and get a pool in the back with a jacuzzi attached to that bitch. <sighs> I quickly want to turn into buying in some of these homes in Detroit. That's yeah, kind that's of my next mission. I would give me a signature house. I would a signature on the floor. Then come back for the mission. Like, yeah. This home is going to be getting flipped soon. The property that is going up is, you know, it's a lot of shit going on. I get somebody in a, in a house charging me this $600 a month to live yeah, in. Yeah, because even in Detroit, rent is high as hell. Yeah. High as hell. Three bedroom, eight. Off bail right now. That's what the market looking like right now. Eight hundred. Three bedroom. You should get a basement because you know they come with a basement on bed. You draw it to a house that basement. <laughs> so that's basic four rooms. Yeah. <laughs> but if you got that good ass job, that good payroll, anything possible, you just gotta take your ass to work. You gotta pay your taxes and That's it. Yeah. Don't file a zip, don't do that. What? Dudes out here filing a zip. They ain't like fuck that, you ain't gonna take my taxes all year. No. But as long as you show them niggas, you can do anything, man. I was making money for so long doing the studio, and when I finally tried to get a house and I wasn't doing shit the way I needed to and shit, shit was fucked up. But a year in, my shit went through. My credit was great. That's how you do it. I keep thinking about getting like a newish car, but I don't know, man. Everybody I know who got a fucking car note right now is in misery. Yeah, they get it. You better off leasing to the car truck down on your ass again. I was thinking leasing, but isn't that basically the same price? What leasing? As as buying? No, a car note you put it like a rental on basically. But leasing is like say if you get like a 2016, 2017. Let's say I got a 2012 or 14. Okay, you got 2012 they'll bust you down like hey, we're gonna give you this 2012 we won't say 14, we're gonna give you 2014. But like in a year, so you can upgrade this bitch or keep it till the price go down. You know what I'm saying? Every every year you said they're gonna hit you with like, hey, do you wanna buy this bitch? This is how much the car value is for right now. But if you can't buy a hoe, just lease it again. What would the note be every or what would the uh, not the note? What was the lease? Shit, sometimes you got leases that like shit. Then if you have like a 2015, 16 Jeep carriage Jeep Car Cherokee, it should be like 325, 326 a month. But the insurance you gotta get full coverage, right? The dims, that's how they go. If you got good credit and shit, they're gonna take care of all that shit, bro. You They'll know? take care of the yeah. insurance? Yeah, when well, you paying all that, that 300 all that shit, that's for insurance and everything. Oh, right, okay, yeah. so then it's just another, okay, so it's like $300 extra. Yeah, they're gonna slap you with the insurance on bail, especially if you lease it. That way, if that bitch break down, you just bring it in, they don't give you another car till it's fixed. Mm -hmm. You gotta worry about nobody or nothing. It's yours. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about <laughs> She said it's worth talking about the jacuzzi, I think. Yeah, it is worth it. just love jacuzzis. Alright, I'm in
Somebody in here, bro? Somebody, huh? somebody in the house with you? Cat. Huh? Cat. Oh, I heard some, like an alarm system or something on the phone. A voice or something. Oh. It's probably on accident. Oh. Anime, do you have Alexa? Are oh, you talking about oh the Amazon thing? Yeah. yeah. I seen something that said that she had it. Anime, you gotta let me know if you got that so I can leave you dirty messages and shit. Hey, is that live right now? What, right this right here? Yeah. No, this right here? On my phone? Yeah. No, that's not live, it was live. God damn, dude, that fucking air condition sounds awful in the events. Bro, you I, bro you I, got, I got the microphone cut down at the lowest setting that this microphone can go, bro. And it's picking it up. And it's picking, it's picking, it's the lowest. God damn, dude. Oh my god. God damn it. That sucks. I guess I don't even watch my own show. <laughs> God damn it. That's a strong ass mic. Damn. Fucking PlayStation.
Do we have another song to do? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a hook one on this one. I just want to give this a uh, listen out loud, so we don't put this. Love. 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 Love.
Case and long break. Mr. Fem J Rock, Living Edge. Was there anything else after your name? Um, I was put Living Legend after that. Keep your music playing, even when you leave the app. Let me get the title, sir. Living Legend. John Legend.
Okay, can you give me a little uh, slight practice so I can get your auto tune right? All right. I think you might have started the hook a little bit early. I think that might be the bridge or something because if I leave that blank and then have the hook coming after that. Yeah, you should say something there. I'm not sure what, but um, and then there's sixteens between them. Yep, that's this is exactly how it's supposed to go. Um, like you should fill it in for now but what will you eventually do there let's leave it open for interpretation because like you could do something really dope there but um let's do a double for right now you're starting two bars back you are live I get that one. 
you know, give him some, some ideas, but I, I don't think he's trying to do all that. I still haven't quite figured out, you know what I'm saying? Is he like with the younger style? Is he with the, the old guard? You know what I'm saying? I'm still trying to you know, see where he's, where he's going with this stuff. We may not need an ad lib, I mean a hype track, so let's try an ad lib. Take y'all away from it. Huh? Got it. All right, you're live. I'm trying to involve myself a lot more with um, the, um, you know, the, the current styles and who's trending and whatnot. I, I've just learned that it's just going to have to be part of my, um, it's part of who I have to become, you know? And um, when it comes to his music, I'm not exactly sure. You know, it's kind of weird that I have, never mind. Um, when it comes to his music, you know what I'm saying? The auto tune, the you know what I'm saying, the nonchalantness, you know, um, it definitely feels more like it de Mr. Smith. What's up, man? Um, but yeah, still, it feels more like the younger stuff, you know what I'm saying? But he, he drop bars and shit sometimes, so I mean, it's not like new niggas don't drop bars, but you know, I'm trying to see who's who's he influenced by, you know what I'm saying? But organically, instead of just asking them. Let's see how it sounds, speakers. Gotcha. Save the top, save the top, save the top. Oh, yeah, we can't do that yet. I see the top, I see the top, I see the top. There we go. I see the top, I see the top. 
I seen the top, I seen the bottom. I seen the bottom. I seen the top. I seen the top. Ah, uh, you gotta see bottom right there. Living. Living. What the hell is this? Somebody just sent you a star, bro. Say you a star, dude. Cool for Pratt's. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking star? <laughs> cool for Pratt's. <laughs> Damn. I just said my man's a star. Like, keep it coming, man. Keep it coming. Yep. Like Mario in this bitch. I got the Mario shit on, you know what I'm saying? Got me a star. <laughs> <laughs> Bottom, like one hot one right there, bro. You ain't trying to jump on that bitch. Huh? You ain't trying to jump on that bitch. Man, it's all you, bro. Kind of like how you said that one. But on the but on the second one, the last one. See the bottom. Just yeah. like a little like you know. See something that yeah, it ain't gotta be super harmonic. Just see the bottom. Cause you just said I see the top again, and it was overlapping with the see the bottom part, so I just wanted to. I see the top, I see the bottom. See the bottom. I think that's right in your wheelhouse, right there, bro. All right. Um, but outside of that, that should be smooth. <laughs> Silent vocal. What the fuck? <laughs> hey, 
day. But look though, my numbers go up by the day. That's all that matters, bro. What's your numbers looking like, man? I'm not a person, man. I'm an essay. He said, busy B. That's a video. Shop out my man's right here, man. So if y'all tune in. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, wait a minute. Alright. You see him over here acting the clown. <laughs> What is wrong with you, Smith? This is that busy bee. Busy bee. Like, what, what are you about to put another one up and spell it differently? You've been going crazy all night. Uh, are you going to lay that part in for me, bro? Uh, see the bottom. Sorry, see the bottom part. I see the bottom part. I see the bottom part. I'm like basically on the echo, but you can stretch it out a little bit more. See You're talking about like the bottom part, right? Yeah. The bottom part, right? I see the, the top, I see the bottom, I see the bottom. I believe so. We're gonna give it a listen. Try one more time. Video man, you bring up the jewels man. Shout out to Nation Jewels. Shout out to Hutch because he's doing my signature piece off bail. You said jewels. Yeah, Nation Jewels. Gotcha. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Bro, like you just jewels as in jewelry man. You did some crazy shit in the past, and I was like, that's that's the nigga swag. But if you would have had Nation Jewels, bro. I would have had to stop you, bro. Like, <laughs> no, bro, we can't do Nation Jews. All right. I'm glad I'm tripping. Um, Nation, Nation Jews. All Jewish rappers. Oh, God. We don't hold chickens up on Thursdays. So, so from BMW. Okay. This is for me. Um, copy that all the way through. See, that's what our Persians say. Get BMW. Proximo. These be your these be your uh, video game friends on here. You play a game with online and shit. Not really. These are people who so have like. Uh, these are sometimes they're clients, but more often than not, these are people who just are on YouTube looking for entertainment, and then they come across something called Detroit Studio Time. What's that? And then, okay, okay, okay. You know, so these people from all over the world. Some of them end up sticking around, like anime. She's been watching for a while and supporting your man's, and you know what I'm saying, holding me down. Other, other people, it's their first time being. Here. Who the hell is anime? Was she singing something? Anime, um, she's just a hard worker from uh, Indiana. Oh, damn. Yeah. In the Midwest. Pay your taxes. Yeah. 
She drive around famous people, I think, something like that. Oh shit, she didn't come up with a famous TV show with a camera or something. <laughs> Celebrity cash or something. Celebrity cash. Mr.
I said what? I said all. All then put it for that. I put it for the hustle because the next time I come, we doing a video, bro. Well, that's what I'm saying. This is going to be like redundant because like we're going to do a music video for something that's already got a different visual for it. You know what I'm saying? Like, All right, go ahead, man. Because like when we do the video, I'm going to release a like a demo of the video. Okay. You know what I'm saying? For the song, too. So that before the video even drops, there'll be a video demo of it. You use, you use, uh, you use Android. Uh, I use Android. Right, what if, like you got to tell me that uh, I have to use the repost off your page or for Android. So I do iPhone. It's my first time. It's should say, man. Repost that. Go on your uh, Android store. Uh, go to repost that. Does repost at as we post Instagram? The whole point of the repost app is for Instagram. Sure. Yeah. I don't personally use it, so I'm not What's positive. You use? I don't repost anybody. Oh shit. Give me credit. Okay, so I mean I, I don't know, but that should be fine. Literally I've told everybody just to get the repost app and nobody's come to me with a problem, so I'm sure all of them weren't doing the same thing. Still got the Wednesdays, Wednesdays at that uh, church. Mm -mm. I um, wanted to focus on on other things, and uh, he's getting real busy. And he's upping the price and stuff. And How much he upping? Hundred dollars. Ain't shit. But that's not the point. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't know. But anyways, long story short. Um, so whenever we need him, we can go set that price and it'll be done deal. Yeah, but I mean, I don't like that there's no Wi-Fi there and like the shows, like I want to be able to bring my people to the shows, man, and I, you know, with no kind of internet connection, you know. Make shit pop. Exactly. Now, I know that's not everybody's cup of tea, but uh, for me, I definitely, oh, come on, are you fucking kidding me? Forgot to render off that other song. Living Legend. Are you about to create it now? Nope. But it'll be up this week. I'm if you know what, I'm gonna stick to five. I was gonna say maybe I should do one for every day of the week, but fuck that. I'm gonna do like five Instagrams a week, you know, because it depends on who you know who's buying them, who's not. Sometimes I'll just make some just to be creative and shit like that if I have the time. But um, I'm not. I'm off one day a week. That's Monday, so it's probably. To, oh, and I got you on that. So y'all, uh, man, drop that shit today. Take it through the money and let me drop the ass train anything. Drop that shit today. Put the speaker on the floor. Um Ah, uh, you drive a hard bargain, sir. I guess I can do that. Um, uh, nation music. But uh yeah, we got some dope footage of it, you know what I'm saying? Um That last shot I was trying to let me see. Oh man, look at that hair. You know, I want to get some slow motion shit like this. This is what the slow motion on there. <laughs> Looking like he on some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> he on some bullshit. It's coming, bro. I might even drop five on this video. I want that bitch to be crispy. That bitch on bill here, two million. I put that on G mod. Yeah, man, I, um, fucking annoying me with oil. Up your sale, then put you like, hey, P. <laughs> I mean, that's definitely something, man. I like to invest and make sure that that's what happens. Damn, P. Fucking annoy me to death. Hi, MC Steven. Steven Law. 
What's up, bro? See, I, see, I think he's a first timer. We got four people watching right now. That's a star for Facebook. I mean, YouTube. If you fucking fan, share this video. Steven Law. That's definitely an action here on there. But Steven Law is the commando. And having a Steven Law. <laughs> one man must make it through one night full of horrors. What's the update, Captain? Steven Law is. <laughs> Why? And I'm like, all right, all right, I got it. All right, we're gonna put more with that so everybody just so shit and just be good. All right. Yep, I see a video about the slap. So everybody double cut. Don't, if you don't, have a drink. Just put, just put some nice sprite in there, or some crispy water. Come to the shoot. The props will be there. And that's it. Two time fucking quizzes. Stephen Law. Starting October. If y'all out here, we at the penthouse every Friday, fame Fridays, man. West 8 Mile, man. At PD Promo, we showing videos in the kitchen. Promo videos, they ain't gonna full video. Yeah, I promise that Smith is either a fucking idiot or a fucking genius, and I don't know which one. Man. He could be a genius. Who? Smith. So you never know, I, you never know niggas' IQ numbers out here, man. This so nigga's talking, like nothing matches up. HTC One phone, tea time fucking quizzes, and that's it, fucking cheap Stephen Law. Are oh, you in the King UK? Nice seeing him. He's in the UK, kicking ass. It's Stephen Law. <laughs> <laughs> and he's not here for tea and crumpets. Stephen Law is in the UK. But this time. Alright. Um so that shot that shot. As long as there's like two shots in here, then that's good. Yeah, I'm supposed to deny I'm gonna have your shit slapping. Question, the million dollar question everybody want to know about Peter Promo. How many different designer glasses this man has for these frames? <laughs> Would the world ever know? <laughs> How many glasses he got back? Yeah, see, you have to find out. If you look at all the episodes, <laughs> how many glasses this man got? <laughs> Damn. I mean, hey, it's either, it's either wood or bricks, man. Wood or bricks. And if you're a gene, you're bossing, you got a stone as a house. Stone houses. I love Subscribe, man. What you know? Subscribe, Peter Promo, too, man. Share this video, man. December 25th, Privilege Album, man. You working hard, man. You just make it look easy. This shit costs a lot of money at the end of the day. It's all about the money, man. It's 
So get a job. Get a job first. Then pursue a dream or some shit out here, man. I'll be out here just like, hey, and it work like that. Yeah, I stood. We went to shot at Kevin. Outside. Right. Here's some more music for you, Lizard Brown. Uh, you also, you also
I just don't get it. Find us, I got it. It was a little loud, maybe they couldn't hear. I didn't realize I had it that loud. Okay. You said right now the previous gym you had is at uh, Planet Fitness. That's the gym I'm at, yeah. I try to go to the one over here, but I've been going so late. They close at 11. Mm -hmm. So I got to go to the one over here in, uh, on 94 and like uh, Hoover. Oh, shit. Let me get my number. Facing the rising sun And on the day begun And as I know to is the reason I don't know why that song got in my head from last year Alright Bang bang Photo shoot too. And I got some models and I got this little line that I shoot this, shoot a couple shots with these product I got out. Um, I would say that um, it would depend a little bit on if you need touch-ups, you know, if you wanted just the raws and then you could do whatever you want with them, or if you wanted to pick, you know, maybe like oh, the five six. Oh, on the website. Yeah, like this is the thing. My pictures are gonna be dope, but the ones that are like. The ones you want to give to businesses or other people and stuff like that. You like, I like a, like a hundred pictures you'll have off the photo shoot. Yeah. Maybe like four to eight of them. You would pick and say these are the ones I need touch ups with. And a touch up can take anywhere from thirty minutes to an hour to just make sure that bitch look good. And I wouldn't charge you like a fucking lot of money or like that, but right. I'll make sure the bitches look So at the video person. shoot, you want to do that? The photo shoot. Yeah, but a regular one with just pictures, I do that for pretty cheap. Can you announce yourself? Because we've had some phantom viewers here, man. And I'm trying to figure out uh, the phantomness. You know, why Why I'm in the phantom zone here. Uh, goddamn phantoms starring Levi Schreiber. And uh, I don't remember anybody else that was in that. But Matt Damon? No, I mean, uh, Billy Crystal. What's his name? Um, ben Affleck. Okay, so you're just not gonna say nothing? You're gonna phantom zone me? You gonna put me in the phantom zone? I got you. I got you. I'm gonna just leave. About that. Now, no one has fun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. 
So by that, there are three theories that are now cemented and I'm that much closer to figuring out which one is the correct one. I got five dollars. I got five dollars. Uh, uh, what? I got uh, uh, what? Right? Um, I'm out this bitch. Um, I'm out this bitch. Um, I am in a world of just exploratory, like, it's all weird. Like, I've been, um, gymming out, healthy and out. Healthy and out shit is weird. It's weird. Like, I'm not doing it right. <laughs> I'm not doing it right. I've been trying to sell it everything. Breakfast. I used to have eggs and bacon in a salad because it was like, fuck it. Instead of like making an omelet, I'll just, or fucking just been having eggs and, and toast and I'll take the carbs out completely, I'll just have a salad. Lunch, that sandwich I was gonna have, salad. Dinner, that chicken breast that was gonna come with mashed potatoes and fucking macaroni, salad. Everything is salad, salad everything. So I'm like, getting a fuckload of vegetables in, but now like, I feel weird. I feel like weak almost. <laughs> like, I don't know. It's weird. It's super weird. Um, like, right now, like, I'm not hungry. But I'm just like, we I stuff myself with fucking kale and baby greens and cilantro and whatever other bullshit. I've got some fancy bullshit. I don't know. I just don't even, I'm not eating no goddamn tomato. That's all I'll tell you that. I'll tell you that. I'm not eating no goddamn tomatoes. I'll tell you that. So... Um, they got these good chopped bags that you can get for like $3 a pop and they have everything that you need in the bag. Even comes with like some side piece shit like, uh, the barbecue ranch one comes with like Frito potato chips that you put in there, but they're not Fritos. They don't taste like feet. Um, and other ones come with, anyways, um, but yeah, I've been salading everything and, uh, it's dope. It's weird. So I, I cut, you know what I'm saying, the starch out, everything. Any bread I got here is whole wheat. My cereal is fucking wheat cereal. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, you know, you know, be as quick as possible. You know what I'm saying? And I understood that it was a lifestyle change and not like a diet. You can't diet. You have to, like, you know, if you want to live that life, you got to be, you know, you live that life. Um, but, yeah, it's just a, it's weird, man. It definitely, like, feels weird. I'm about a weekend, and I'm feeling weekend. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> um, I think I know what's going on right now. God damn it. Ugh, am I sweating? I, um, I've got to do that video for oh boy, get that up by eight o'clock. Um, there will be Instagram video uploads every day. Not every day this week, but like, let's just say there are, um, if I would have fucking known that this was going to happen with this video, then I wouldn't have uploaded the one today that I already uploaded, but it's already up. So this, you know, then there would have been the one he just had me do today and I've already got four in the can. There's four in the can, they're ready to go up. I'm going to upload one each day. Um, I was thinking about doing one every day this week or every week. But Monday is my day off, and I'm definitely not doing that. And I know during the weekend, even though the whole weekend, or at least one day a weekend, I'm going to need a break. So that's at least two days that I don't do. So that's five days, like Tuesday through Saturday, maybe, that I might do it. Or I might just do Tuesday through Friday. Tuesday through Friday, you can catch a new Instagram video up. You know what I'm saying? Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, no. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, four days. I don't know. This week, there's five, but two are getting uploaded on the same day. I feel like taking the one I uploaded on and then leaving this new one up and then putting that back on tomorrow, but who does that? Um, I wrote down ten things that were important to me and that I wanted to spend time on every day. And I have dedicated my time to doing those 10 things you know what I'm saying like whether you know like for you whatever it might be you know what I'm saying for you it might be you know what I'm saying connecting with your family you know what I'm saying it could be um, going to the library it could be using the, the, the dictionary and learning five new words every day that you didn't know before just so your vocabulary will increase um, business, you know, whatever your like, what, whatever your five or ten year plan. If you don't have a five or ten year plan, then get on your goddamn job. 
You know what I'm saying? You need to think about where you're going to be in five or ten years. And when it comes down to that, I mean, like, think about if you have a ten a ten year plan. And that ten year plan is simple: that in ten years you want enough money to like take a year off, or I don't know, I don't know how this is going to go out. But let's say your math is twenty dollars a week every week, except for I guess two weeks. So that's way it's a clean fifty fifty weeks. So that's fifty times twenty dollars. That's a thousand dollars. So at the end of your 10 year journey of $20 a week, that's all you put away is $20 a week in the bank, in your savings, you put a clause, you can't touch that money or whatever. Maybe you trust yourself so you just put it in there. That's $10,000 at the end of 10 years. And I know you're saying, oh, 10 years now. Okay, but how old are you right now? And think about if you would have started that 10 years ago. And that's fine that you didn't because you can always start something amazing any day. Any moment, you can start that shit. You think about it at night, don't say, well, I'm going to do it tomorrow. Start that shit tonight if you can. Because there's nothing like that inspiration, man. And when that inspiration hit you, you have to, you know, that motivation. You know what I'm saying? Inspiration can hit you, but you may not be motivated. You know what I'm saying? But when motivation hits you, you got to take that shit, man. Whether it's a person, whether it's a moment, whether it's a fucking symbolism somewhere. Keep your goddamn phone out, take notes, and make sure that you know what you're doing. And the bottom line is, I wrote down my 10 things, and each of them don't take about an hour a day, but I kind of planned out my, my day out, and I was inspired after watching uh, some interview with John Cena from the WWE and showing his schedule from working out to rehab because he had to get shoulder surgery, so he's like working out. He was supposed to be back in 12 months. He came back in like six. You know what I'm saying? So his workout schedule, his physical training schedule, his, uh, he had to learn Mandarin in three months. You know what I'm saying? It's like all these tasks that like, you know, regular motherfuckers can't do. Everyone can do, but they won't do. And every day was packed full of shit that, so there was no time for, you know, fuckery. And so, um, I was inspired by that. And so I didn't use like his same method, but I did some research and found out some things and I basically wrote down 10 things that are important to me now and will be important to me in the future and those 10 things get worked on every day. Um, and for you, I mean like this is what I'm saying, it could even be that you want to be able to just chill, have fun and play video games and that's important for an hour a day. An hour of video games every day is important to you. Then put that on the list. Every day these 10 things must happen to you. And these are reasons why you can't oversleep. These are reasons why you can't fuck off. These are reasons why you can't get drunk because you know that's going to carry on for four hours because you can be sober enough but not quite sober enough to do whatever you need to do. These are reasons why I get blowed, get high, smoke that weed and hit about, hit about a, a fourth of that shit, put it out and get to work. And for a lot of you guys, stop smoking weed until the work is done. But I digress. The point is figure out what you want, man. Even if it's you want to be a millionaire, don't say you want to be a millionaire in a year because then you're just going to be fucking depressed. But I tell you what, anybody can be a fucking winner at nothing, but you're fucking winning at doing nothing. You're succeeding at nothingness. Try. Do something big. Be fucking bigger than what you are. Make something that makes other people want to be a part of it or do something that's going to change what you are doing and where you at. And if you fail, then guess what? You'll be someone who's known. Not known for being a failure, hopefully not. But you're someone who's out here because you tried. Think of how many connections you make when you just try to do something. Think about how many things you learn when you just try to do something. Failure sucks. It fucking sucks. It's brutal. When things don't work out the way they're supposed to, it can crush you. And that's just the brass text about it. And that's why people are scared. That's why people don't want to try. Because if you try and you don't succeed, then, you, you know, you always got that in your back of your head. But you know what? A motherfucker is way more respected for trying. For going out there and putting everything on the line. And saying, you know what, I did this. Then the motherfucker will say, well, you know, man, we was going, you know, yeah, man, I could, man, I couldn't do that. I can't do that, can you? You know? Go out there and be something. Go out and fucking fuck shit up. Go fucking, you know, attempt something. Be more than what you are, man, you know? We out here trying to play these 
I don't know, man. I'm not mad at anybody trying to do what they feel is important. But for a nigga like me, man, got big things in store. I'll see you motherfuckers later. Be yourself. Because everybody else. It's already taken.